This is Paul Vreeland, creator of the All-in-One System Rescue Toolkit, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can reclaim hard drive space using my toolkit. In this tutorial I've generated a large text file as an example, and the solution here is to delete it. However, if the space is being used up by a program or a game, maybe videos or music, you may want to uninstall or review the files before you actually delete them. So let's say you sit down at somebody's computer and you pop in the all-in-one system rescue toolkit because their computer is running slow and you end up with this scenario. Here we immediately notice the troubleshooting icon for hard drive is red and also we have red on the fixed disk 0C. The system drive is 92% full. So let's go ahead and run our utility for hard drive usage. and we want to run it on the C drive. This utility is called Winderstat. It gives us a nice graphical display once it's done computing the files. So we'll take a minute to break down what's going on here. Here we have a tree view. This is uh, largest size to smallest size. Here we have a table that shows the most common file formats. So here's text document, application extension. This might usually get filled up with either Windows updates, some sort of log files, media files like photos and videos. Down here we have a graphical display that shows boxes inside of boxes. So for example here we have a box that's a top level directory and we notice we have them arranged as a smaller box here inside of that. And then we have these other small boxes inside of that. So this just kind of gives a graphical display of how the files are organized by space. And here's our 23.3 gigabyte text document. So if we click on that, we can figure out what it is. Huge file.txt. This is a 23.3 gigabyte text file. We also have a couple other ones to note here. What is this big one? This looks like it is stored in the Windows as a data store.edb file, something with Windows. Here we have probably the page file. Yep, page file is right there. So before I actually delete this file, I'm going to head over to the live CD environment and show you the hard drive usage utility there so we can see what that looks like. All right, the same system is booted here in the live CD environment with the same scenario. I'm gonna go ahead and open our disks utility and we'll mount the primary Windows partition. And we notice here's the location, media, Lubuntu, blah, blah, blah. So now that it's mounted, we can see it down here. 39.9 gigabytes used. Let's open up our disk usage analyzer. And the one we want to view is not Lubuntu, but this media, Lubuntu, blah, blah, blah. And we'll give that a minute to calculate all the files and we can see what this one looks like. So here we can see the drive is nearly full, as is indicated here too. And this graphical analyzer is a little bit different than the others, but we can drill down into VirtualBox, Downloads, and we'll see that the Downloads folder is using up most of the space. And I went ahead and opened that folder and we see hugefile.txt here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete hugefile.txt and we'll reboot the system and check it out. So I've booted into Windows and loaded up the all-in-one system rescue toolkit and I wanted to show you guys the scenario just in case you run into it. We still have a red icon and still 92%. Since Lubuntu is a modern operating system it creates a trash can folder similar to the recycle bin so I'll show you where that is in case you didn't fully delete the file in the live CD environment. 
So on our C drive we have a dot trash dash nine 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 folder. This was created by Lubuntu. And when we go in we see our huge files and they're waiting to be fully deleted. But we can just go ahead and delete this trash folder completely since we're not going to be using Lubuntu to delete any more files. Permanently delete, yes. And our status has gone green now and we're only at 34% usage on the system drive, which is nice, much better. And this concludes my video tutorial for reclaiming hard drive space using the all-in-one system rescue toolkit. If you found this video useful or you find my toolkit useful, feel free to like or subscribe below. And I thank you all for continuing to support and share my project.